Hi everyone, welcome back to Hi Mama's online content activity hub. My name is Kaya and I'm an early childhood educator here at Hi Mama headquarters. For today's activity, we're gonna be making some coffee filter umbrellas. This is one I created last night, super cool because all the colors started to bleed together. So this activity is really great for kiddos to explore color and how water affects them and how they bleed together and maybe even turn into new colors. For this activity, you will need some coffee filters. We'll need a spray bottle full of water, a glue stick, scissors, black paper, and some really colorful markers. So the first thing that we wanna do is take our coffee filter. I'm using these brown ones, or you can use the traditional white ones. If you are using the circular white ones, just give it a fold and a half so you can uh, kind of mimic a umbrella shape here. And then you're gonna have your child color the umbrella whichever way they want. Um, if the colors bleed together when they're coloring, that's perfectly fine. The idea here is to cover the whole entire umbrella in whatever colors that they want. They can do designs, they can um, be like super messy with it, really doesn't matter because eventually all of the colors are gonna bleed together. And as you're coloring, you don't need to worry about like any white space or anything. I'm just doing this fairly quickly here to show you what eventually will happen. You can use, you can do patterns or you can use like pastel spring colors, whatever the kiddos want to do. And this is going to be great for practicing their fine motor skills as well by holding the uh, markers using the pincer grasp, meaning the first finger and the thumb like that. Cool. So I have my umbrella here all colored in. The next thing I'm going to do is spray this and this can get a little bit messy, especially as the colors start to blend together. So you might want to do this either over the sink or in the bathtub or something um, or on a covered surface. And your child can help you with this part too by actually spraying the coffee filter. So I'm going to spray this with water and immediately the colors start to blend together. Cool. There we go. So I'm gonna leave this out to dry overnight once it's completely saturated so the colors have a chance to blend together and then the coffee paper, coffee filter has a chance to dry. So I did this one last night and it looks like this. So it's a little bit drier now, a little bit more firm. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create our handle for our umbrella. Something like this kind of looks like the letter L or the letter J depending on which way you look at it. So using black paper, and again, your child can help with this part too, um, by tracing and cutting out the, uh, the umbrella handle. So if, as an adult, if you want to trace the, the shape, your child can follow along the lines and actually cut it out. So I'm just going to cut out my umbrella handle here, with my black paper. Perfect. And the next thing I'm gonna do is take my glue stick here and we're gonna glue our umbrella handle to our umbrella. A little bit glue down. And let's pop that onto the bottom part of our coffee filter. Let it completely dry so it's nice and firm and then you have your coffee filter umbrella. Here's another one that I made too that's even more dry. Really, really cool. You can experiment with blending colors like the blue and the red here blended together and made a purple. See, uh, see what your kiddos think and let us know how your activities turned out. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed the activity and we'll see you soon. Bye.